It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Box Road. Delighted to be joined by Johnny Nelson at the Cutler's Hall, a historic venue for a historic event. Uh, your launch, a celebration of your MBE and the launch of your foundation, Johnny. Yeah, you know what? It's um, uh, it's it's bittersweet, really. I was uh, I've been in London all week, uh, helping with a build up for Joshua Boatsy against Dan Aziz. Got to be missing it, uh, but I understand uh, uh, there's also other commitments that have to be had. I can probably get my phone and watch it under the table. I cut this hall. This this place in Sheffield reminds me so much of. The, the old days, and so I'm trying to bring something back annually, um, a black tie ball, um, uh, and it's, it's, it's to um, also launch the, the foundation, and a thank you for the MBE. So uh, it kind of all fell on the same night, but it is what it is. Now, well done to you, man. Obviously, just getting the MBE was a big achievement. You're obviously launching the foundation on the back end of that. Just remind the fans out there what, you know, what you're going to do with regards to your foundation, how it helps people. It's basically helping people, uh, not just uh, around the area, nationally, uh, to help people to get into media, help people to uh, home education. It's just to help raise funds for, 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 for charities that are out there that, that, that need help. Um, and I was, I was one of those guys, I was fortunate to meet Brendan, and Brendan was, was my foundation. He was, uh, he was a guy that guided me in the right direction. So it's, it's kind of trying to mimic what Brendan did, but... But Brendan used to go around and beg, borrow, and for everybody and anybody he possibly could. Uh, I'm doing it, trying to use the MBE to raise as much money to, so I can don donate to um, charities and, and, um, uh, and other good causes. Well done to you, because stuff like that don't get celebrated enough, because it's be quite easy for you to just crack on and do your thing rather than helping anyone, and credit to you for obviously helping people in the, or in need. Uh, yeah, without a doubt, as I said, you can't expect someone to do something good. For you if you're not prepared to do it uh, for someone else yourself and it's good to see you've got people supporting you. you've got adam smith here i've seen junior witter on the list as well and you've got your people that have been around you over the years supporting you listen the boys i move with are the same guys i've moved with since i was 15 16 years old i've still got the same circle of friends around me and um and and, and it's great having them help me it's great having the company masika help me um uh, and uh, and everybody that's helped uh, build it up and so and adam of course adam said come on let me get involved and i loved that um i think i begged him more than he uh, actually said let's do it so um it's just nice Good stuff, Johnny. Uh, I want to also speak to you about the news that broke out yesterday. You know, there's been, uh, well, not rumours, but Carl Froch, you know, he's been, he's been obviously going on about the fight. It ain't going to happen, all that kind of stuff. A few people online have been saying it. Unfortunately, Tyson Fury has suffered a cut in sparring. So just tell me what your initial reaction was when you saw the news. You know what? I, I'm, I, I'll always go on the side of the fighter. So I think about the heartbreak, the frustration, um, the despair of any fighter. My career ended by injury. Um, I've seen fights, uh, fighters' careers derailed by injury. Uh, this cut, a recurring cut, a cut that happened in a fight, uh, happened in sparring. Um, it's just one of those things. It's, it's part of the game, and unfortunately, um, this because this fight now, twice now, it should have happened. It has happened. Uh, your body, as you get older, you cannot, if you, especially at world class level, at top level, you're going to have to put your body through training camp and again and again and again. Each time you do it, it's kind of rinsing something out of you. So I, I really, really do feel sorry for Tyson Fury because I used to be a fighter and I know what it's like. And, and then if you weren't a fighter, you, you, you seem to have no pity. Uh, uh, but it, there's a lot of work, a lot of commitment. Uh, uh, and a lot of things you've got to give up when you're in camp and uh, and he'll be heartbroken more than anybody we're disappointed he'll be heartbroken what did you make of um the actual you know they've shown the video footage as well have you seen the clip you know do you feel it was an elbow or was it a punch because there's been a bit of debate about that it looked like an elbow i wasn't sure because i saw the shot and you can't try to slow it down and speed it up and i'm thinking could it be the elbow or was it a chopping left hook uh, and you, you saw the elbow ball come through. The shot itself, you saw Tyson's head go back. His legs kind of went a little bit, but he, he fell into the shot. Uh, I think I just think he'd be too tall for for Opatia to, to land with the elbow. Uh, uh, was it not Opatia? Apparently they thought it was Kevin Lirana, but apparently I've heard news it could be some Croatian guy. I can't remember his name. Okay, so so but let me let's let's just and I saw something David put on this morning. Uh, when David Hay should have boxed Tyson Fury and he suffered the same consequences. 
and and I I think I think we all have to learn a lesson the hard way, and I think how Tyson feel uh, Fury's feeling now. That's how David Hay felt when 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 the same thing happened with Tyson Fury. So now you kind of understand. You know, he's hearing the the conspiracy theory saying he cut himself. It's not true. He knows uh, that that that's 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 real. Yeah, that's for real. It really did happen. So now hopefully there's some comp some compassion for. For 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 I don't know probably being a little heartless uh, with David at the time uh, and I think David came out and I thought he was it was it was cool man how he dealt with it. he said look he reminded him and said but you know I wish you good I wish you good health and I actually liked that from David he could have stuck the boot in but he didn't um, and and so now you have to live you have to live your lesson and that's what um, Tyson Fury is uh, having to go through. What did you make of the shape he was in? He posted a picture of himself saying, you know, Usyk was in trouble. He looked a lot leaner uh, compared to the Ngannou fight. He did. On the picture that I saw, he did. He looked in, in, in great condition. He, on the picture that I saw, he just looked spot on. He looked, you know, he looked, he looked better, the, probably the best I've seen him. Uh, the two outcomes, Alex Krasak is uh, demanding that he gives up the belt and becomes a champion in recess and let somebody else fight for the undisputed. Should he do that? Yes, I, I agree with that uh, totally. And if I'm honest with you, um, touching on the things you hear about what's happening, I'd, I'd hear about what's happening in training camp. It would not surprise me if Tyson Fury said, you know what, no man, I, I'm, I'm not happy with this situation because it's an emotional up, up or down and you've got to think of this young man's mental health uh, and how he deals with uh, the ups and downs of, of, of the backlash, uh, the ups and downs of the fight happening, not happening. Uh, how hard training camp is, um, and the reality of of, of 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 coming to terms with what's actually happening and him, how sparring is going, and he might just think it's not worth it. Today he might say that, tomorrow he'll say no, nah, I've changed my mind. But it it would not surprise me if that was on his mind. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, uh, in regards to the, the 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 fight itself, I personally think if Tyson Fury doesn't fight Alexander Usyk next, he'll never fight again. A few people have suggested that you know he, sh he may retire, but you know, looking at the battles he's been through before, he's, I'm assuming he's been through bigger battles than this. Surely he should be able to come through no, this. No, no, listen, it's, this is not about uh, the battle because I've seen Tyson Fury when he went and boxed Klitschko, uh, came through uh, gloriously, got in there after being out of the ring for so long against uh, Wilder, come through gloriously. What a story! Then go back in there again and again. Uh, and so he's been in bigger battles, he's been in more dangerous fights. Uh, I think uh, combined with time, combined with being in tough fights and tough training camps and, and listen, the Ngannou fight kind of was an indicator to you thinking, whoa, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out where are we, is it, is it through lack of preparation or preparation, but unfortunately your body didn't work with, with your, your, your intent or your mind just stepped back and was a little complacent. They're not good signs, um, and so I, I look at Tyson Fury. I look at where he is, and it wouldn't surprise me if he said, "I'm done with it. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of the criticism from all you naysayers. I'm sick of the the, roller, the emotional roller coaster this puts me through." Uh, and and so it's hard. It, it, it is very hard for him. Be fascinating to see how he deals with it, because like I said, I've, I've asked him about this sort of stuff about people's opinions and ease. He categorically has said that he literally doesn't give a shit. So it'd be interesting to see how he deals with this situation. If you was to, uh, last question for you, Johnny, if you was to predict what happens next, what happens next? Tyson Fury retires. Uh, Oxit goes on and boxes uh, somebody else for, for all the titles. Um, and, uh, and there is some kickback in regards to, to, to where Tyson Fury goes next. Good stuff. Uh, Johnny, appreciate your time. I know you've got uh, an event to prepare for. I wish you all the best with, the, with your foundation. Uh, is there a website or anywhere where people can get hold of you to get involved? Uh, just, just check out the Johnny Nelson Foundation and, um, and, and you'll get all the information uh, you need on there. But I would like to say one thing. I think <clears throat> the stick I kind of got in the week coming up to uh, the, the announcement that the fight was off, um, by people that you, you think should know better, not by people that are jumping on the foolish bandwagon and saying you're a hater, saying that, um, uh, that you're being completely negative. And I've got to say, no, no, I'm a truth teller. Um, I still stick by what 
I, uh, I was saying previously uh, before the pullout. Uh, but I think uh, it should be shame on those that should know better. You get you got suckered in by the sheeps. Uh, these people in say, boxing? Huh? Are these people in boxing you're talking about? Are these people in boxing. You should know better. Uh, and I know you're trying to ingratiate yourself to be friends or to be on the good side because it's amazing what's happening out there in Saudi Arabia. But tell the truth, man. Be honest. Don't be cowards and just say it because you want to be mates. This isn't personal when I say what I say. I, I, I think Tyson Fury, as far as I'm concerned, is, is up to this point, the best heavyweight in the world. This isn't personal. I understand what his dad's frustration with people like Carl and people like, because that's his son. I understand it 1,000%. One, 1, but the fools that decide, that prostitute their, 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 their real heart and soul just to try and be somebody's mate or to try and ingratiate themselves, with 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 the the light at the the top of the hill, you should be ashamed of yourself. Use your common sense, tell the truth, um, and and you don't have to throw people under the bus. But come on, so I don't mind the hassle, the 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 backlash that I got because I could sleep at night. Uh, I wasn't hating. I was just telling you what I was just telling you what I knew, or what I thought I knew. Um, I could never have predicted Tyson Fury getting a caught, but I. I was on, I was well informed on how training was going, uh, or, or sparring was going, um, and so I was kind of disappointed in some people that I look at in boxing, thinking, nah, you know what, you prostitute yourself there to try and ingratiate yourself with somebody instead of actually sitting down and sitting on your sitting on your truth and saying, nah, nah, this is how it is. It doesn't mean you choose one side over the other. It doesn't mean you dislike somebody more than the other. Just be honest. And people respect that, even if they don't like it at the time. And, and the same with me. I know people will not like what I say at the time, but they respect it in the long run. And at least you know where you stand with me. Um, and so that's that. That out of all this, there's no glee in what's happened to Tyson Fury because I I am always on the side of fighters. I want fighters to make a mad money. I want fighters to live happily ever after financially for themselves and their family. I am so glad for Tyson Fury for what he's done, for what he's achieved. And I, and I will always back the Brit against anybody. But when it comes to, to foolishness and game playing and being um, censored uh, and censoring yourself because you want to ingratiate yourself with somebody, you should be ashamed of yourself. And, and those people know what I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, so I'm very comfortable uh, uh, with with the naysayers and the shit I get, I'm very comfortable. Um, and and now I'll sit back and say, all right, let me see how you roll next time. Because a situation might, will happen like this again. Let's see if all people can tell the truth and speak the truth. Because if you speak the truth, it gives you longevity. It might make, not make you popular. It gives you longevity in, in, in what you do in life. Some deep words there, Johnny. Uh, I'm not going to put you on the spot and ask you who these people are that you're referring to. You don't have to ask me that. They know who they are. They know who they are, I see it all, and you know, it's, everybody's entitled to an opinion. They know who they are. Johnny Nelson, I wish you all the best uh, with the foundation and your celebration for your MBE. Uh, top man, thank you. Nice, bro. Thank you, brother. Listen, I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals. 